So today I'm working on this. This is a sofa table. It's one of a set of three tables that I'm painting a cherry blossom motif on. Um, and my customer asked specifically for a black and white design. So I'm using a monochromatic color palette to create this cherry blossom design. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm doing on it. So the first thing I did was actually to just create the outline of my flowers. And for that, I just took a round tipped artist brush. Um, and that round tip helps to create the round tips of the flowers. And I'm going to dip it in my Dixie Belle paint. This is Dixie Belle paint in cotton. Dixie Belle is a chalk mineral paint. And then I'll just choose a location for my flower. So I'm gonna make another one right here. Um, I used two different sizes of round tipped artist brush, one to create a little bit larger flower. And then I came in and added in some smaller flowers with a slightly smaller brush. So with, um, I'll just use the tip of my brush and with one, two, three, four, five petals on each one and I'll fill in the center. And so that's the basic shape of my flower. Once I have my flowers all outlined, I came back with Dixie Belle paint in driftwood, which is a soft gray color. And I used that to, excuse me while I get the lid off. I use that to create the inside of the flower. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking a gradation of the whites, grays, and blacks and working inward towards the center of my flower. So with another uh, smaller round tipped artist brush, I'm gonna dip that in my driftwood and starting at the center, I'm gonna pull my brush outward and create a sort of dry brushing effect out to the petals of my flowers. So I'm just dry brushing, pulling that paint out and letting it be a little bit textured as I get out to the end. Okay, once I have the centers in there with the Dixie Belle Driftwood, I came back with um, Dixie Belle Gravel Road, which is a darker gray color. And I'm gonna move over to this section right here where I've already got the driftwood is dry a little drip right there and I'm going to take that same round tipped artist brush and do the same thing only I'm going to pull it out slightly not quite as far as the driftwood goes so this is gravel road and I'm still just pulling it out to the tips of my flowers this seems like it would be really time consuming but what I did with this table is I brought it inside and I've just been slowly working on each individual flower on this table watching television or you know being with my family and art can be therapeutic so it's actually been really relaxing to just sit and paint cherry blossom flowers so I'm just doing a dry brushing out to the edges of those flowers and you can see right here how it goes from the cotton to the driftwood to the gravel road and then for the final step on these we'll come back over to this ribbing here where I've already got my gravel road as dry, I took my, um, these are the, the Arteza water brush pens, watercolor brush pens. This is the set of 48, which has a great color selection in it. And um, I have an affiliate link for these if you decide you wanna give them a try. But I chose two colors of these and it's um, a shade of gray called Elephant Gray. And then the shade of black is called Noir. So I'll start with the elephant gray, and then I'm gonna come in here. And this is a, um, these watercolor brush pens have a really nice fine tip. So this is a finer detail that I could, than I could get with even you know, an artist brush. And then it gives me a little bit of a watercolored look at the centers that I really liked. Um, and I'm just I'm using the elephant gray first, and I'm just coming in and pulling the color outward again, just creating a little bit, this would be the, um, inner details of my flowers and then I'm going to come back with the black and do the same thing pull those details out to really create the, that center of the flower and these brush pens really give a nice clean tip they um, 
So, and those are my, those are my basic color flowers. So then from there, I have some flowers that are kind of free floating. These ones I just made and I don't want any free floating flowers. So I will take the brand new Dixie Belle Metallics, Moonshine Metallics, and this color is called Silver Bullet. Um, and this is what all my branches are done with. So the silvers, whites, grays, blacks, that's what I'm working in right now. So I will take a very small artist brush here and I'm gonna dip it into my Moonshine Metallics. And I'm just gonna connect all of these little flowers I made to my branches. You can kind of see I've already done it on quite a few of them, but I don't want any free floating flowers. I'll kind of widen it down here at the base. This one out here is a little bit free floating. So just a very soft line with a really fine artist brush. And these have a little bit of sparkle in them. So there, now I've connected these flowers to my branches with my Moonshine Metallics and Silver Bullet. And so between the shades of white and cotton, driftwood and gravel road, and then the two grays of my Arteza brush pens and the silver detailing, um, it's a beautiful monochromatic look um, with little hand painted flowers.